Ian yeah. Buckler in? No. What's wrong with you? I'm waiting for you. Uh, no. <laughs> it's your job. I got Hunter in. I'm waiting for you. Hit. <laughs> 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 I guess I'm the only one that wants to go to the aquarium. I today. want to go too. No, no, because if you did, you'd be in your seat. Wow. Oh my god. We just had a quick lunch. Now we're off to the aquarium. Why yeah. did someone leave? I actually, guys. <laughs> those little carriages things you can buy at the mall. Somebody left it literally in the middle of the road. Mom, <laughs> what else? Um, I want to talk to the fans for a second. Go ahead. <laughs> Hi guys, there's another mall here, but they're much nicer. Yesterday we went to the mall with the house, and the lady when I was out with that chicken, I got this cute little cat and it says, eat more chicken. Yeah, chicken is my favorite. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my but god. I figured today is one of the only days we get as like an entire family where everybody is Even here. Even with Hunter. So I wanted to do something special today. So we are going to go to the aquarium. It yeah, was between... it was a long, long time ago when we went to the aquarium. Yeah, it's been a while. It was between the Museum of Science or Aquarium, and Ella chose aquarium. So I would have, I would have been happy with either one. I'm also eating red velvet munchkin. What are you waiting for? Thank you. Miss Ella off at school. Vacation is officially over and she's back. Um, Mr. Hunter is going to my mom's this morning because it's Monday, which is one of my uh, part-time working days. But he has a doctor's appointment this morning and I don't know if he's getting his shots this morning. And I'm gonna be really sad if he is because I don't, I don't like that. But we're a little bit early so I stopped at work real quick. Grabbed myself a cornbread because I am so hungry. Um, but we're gonna head over there right now. What's the matter, little buddy? What's the matter, little dude? Oh, baby. What's the matter? Oh, yeah, baby. Trying to figure out, should I feed you before or after your appointment? That's a good question, little dude. Hello, my honey. We just got weighed. We weigh 11 pounds, 7 ounces. 
And no shots today. No shots today. Now they're gonna check your eyes and your ears and your mouth and your belly and all that funny stuff. No shots for you today, mister. You got lucky. We just had a bottle. We're nice and full. Hi, honey. It's a little rosy. Honestly, he had a, a little bit of a cold um, earlier this week. We all kind of did. We all, we all got sick at some point, but he's a little tiny bit rosy, but he feels good. His temperature is good. He's trying to escape. Where are you trying to go, my love bug? Still trying to get used to this whole new... You guys are crooked. <laughs> Sorry. Hunter's up for the day. Um, I'm gonna move you guys a little bit. I'm literally, it's like 6.30 in the morning. I'm just waiting for Miss Ella to wake up. In the meantime, I'm getting some laundry done. Um, I'm off to work today, but this Friday, I actually signed her back up for gymnastics. She kept kind of going back and forth between, by the way, he's in like this bassinet thing. I don't know if you can see it. It finally came in a couple weeks ago. Um, but he's like totally in his own space. I'm currently changing my sheets right now. <laughs> They're in the washing machine. So, um, but anyways, I signed Ella up. She wanted to do ice skating and then it was softball and then it was gymnastics and she's done gymnastics before. So I ended up signing her up for gymnastics because she seemed to enjoy it the first time around. Um, so this time we picked up, we're in a different studio. So I picked her up these just black sweatpants that she can wear to um, gymnastics. And then I picked up this little leotard yesterday. Isn't it so cute? She has to try it on. That's why I'm leaving the tag on. I think it'll fit her. I think it's her size, but she might need to go a size down. Um, so like I said, I did keep the receipt, but this all came from Target. So I'm super excited to bring her um, to gymnastics on Friday. So right now I am gonna put this away. I think he's passing back out. I'm going to go wake her up. We're going to get ready for school and then I'm going to work for a little while. So I'll show you maybe like a couple things throughout this week. Um, but there's like not a whole lot going on, at least in the beginning of the week. Like a little later, we have more stuff going on. But like the pet next couple of days is literally just like bringing Ella to school and then going to work and then picking up the kids after and then having dinner and going to bed. <laughs> so um, I, you know, things will get a little more rolling later this week. So, and I'm hoping to do some filming this week too, maybe on Thursday. Oh, Ella's up. I'll let her say hi. Good morning, babe. My knees are dirty. I said you could say hi. My camera's up. <laughs> today, today is Tuesday, so she's gonna need she has music today and you're gonna need a pack pack lunch like a home lunch today because i think it's pizza day to only fridays and tuesdays and fridays and then ella picked out a new library book yesterday the dinosaur book i want to start taking her back to the library to pick out books every week would you like to go to the library after school today a different library? The um, one we used to go to with the tables in the middle. And they used to have those Lego tables and stuff. We can go to the library and bring home some more books for the week. I'd like to try to bring her back to the library like once a week. Wait, I don't remember that. It was, we went there a long, long time ago. You don't have to remember, but would you like to go? Sure. What Legos they have? Oh, I don't know, baby. They have, like, some sort of Lego table. So I'll take her to a library after school today. That'll be something we can do. Oh, That'll wait. be fun. Does some of the books have Legos on, on them? Because, like, no, the library no. fair has, has some books with Legos yeah, the, on them. the Scholastic Book Fair. That, that was different. We're not um, buying books. What we can do is Mama has a library card. So you take some books home from the library, you mm -hmm. read them, but then you you bring them back when you're done with them. And then you can pick out new books. And you can keep doing that. So I'd like to take you you guys once a week to go get some new books. But I, I think um, does the library person let you take home the little Legos? Not, not the Legos. 
toys, honey. No toys. We're there for books. Reading a book is not boring. Would you hear that? She says, reading a book is boring. No, it's not. Oh, honey. No, it's not. And it's very important. And I used to love reading as a kid. And I've always felt that that was very important that was to different because teach my kids. What do you mean that was different? Because your mom was, had different books than you. So? That, that, that your books. But so? My books are boring. Oh, your books are not boring. And we just got a ton of new ones. You butthead. All right, good. I'll finish this up. We're going to the library after school, so that'll be something fun to look forward to, whether she thinks so or not. So I'll talk to you guys very soon. This one's fussy too, so I got I got a lot on my plate at the moment, including these bra straps. Like, what is that? I did end up changing real quick. Um, I put on this lovely Swiss shirt. Um, there he is at the moment. I'm I'm gonna get him dressed. So I'm gonna put him in this little thing. Um, it's actually supposed to be pretty nice out today, and this is quite thin, so. Let me get him dressed real quick. What is that? It's a piece of my bed. Hi, everybody. Oh, say good morning. These are the best kind of pajamas ever because they have built-in mittens. And then it's just like a little, like, opening. So to change him is so easy. Hi, honey. You're a boy, so I can take off your... He's been much more alert recently. He's like looking you in the eye, not smiling yet, but we're getting there. We're getting there. I'm going to get my smiles eventually. I'm going to get my smiles eventually. He just got changed with his bottle, so I don't need to change his diaper or anything. And little mittens, of course, so you don't scratch your face. Ah, you spit up. A little spit up. <laughs> oh, there we go. Now my little handsome is all changed to his puppy outfit. Yay! Miss Ella is drawing on her whiteboard this morning again. What you drawing, baby? What a happy son? <laughs> Why is it not a happy son, silly? Because Spear will try to save her. Oh, okay. All right, let's get some light in this room. Oh. I was using my light was on on my desk. So oh, you're fine. Am I kind of getting some smiles? I thought I saw smiles there. Ella's all dressed. She's just seeing if these silver shoes still fit her. Hunter is in his seat at the moment. And Ella is in the living room waiting for breakfast. So I'm going to get her a quick something to eat. She asked for some cocoa pebbles this morning. All right, so she's eating. I got to pack her bag in a minute, but I made a bunch of Rice Krispie treats last night. I made a batch of original and I made a batch for St. Patty's Day. So this just has gold and green glitter on it, obviously edible glitter and just some green chocolate striping. Um, but this one is just too big. This one is the biggest out of all of them. So I'm actually, I'm going to wash my hands real quick. And I just want to trim literally a tiny bit off just because I want to make sure that all of the sizes are consistent with each other. And this one, again, is just a little too big. So we're going to take this off. I, again, made these last night and wrapped them. So they're still pretty dewy. I'll get new plastic. And then I have a knife here. So you can see the original versus this one. It's just a little bit too big. So I'm just going to take a little bit off of, basically off of the side. So if I cut here and then if I take a little off of this side, it'll be perfect. There we go. 
That's a lot better. And then we can rewrap this. I like to wrap them really tight. Okay, so these are much, much, much closer in size. Now these are basically three by three squares, but I didn't use my cookie cutter on these because of the chocolate. I didn't want to like break them or anything. So I cut these with a knife, but then kind of shaped them and, and trimmed them as I needed to. So now they're about the same size. They are the same height. Uh, so that's good. These are delicious. So, mm. Mm. so good. Okay. Now I can move this aside. That right in the sink. Okay, so first thing after breakfast, I need to get Ella's bag packed and basically restocked. So all I do to make sure that she's ready is that if it's applicable. She needs her library book, but not today. So she has her backpack. Um, I'm going to put an ice pack in the bottom of her lunchbox for her juice. And today actually is a home lunch. Tuesdays and Fridays, her um, school does pizza, but Ella doesn't like, she only likes the Alfredo sauce pizza. She doesn't like the red tomato sauce. So on pizza days, I also pack her a little nacho Lunchable. So she has that, an extra juice. Today I'll pack her this little thing of Oreos. This is too many, she never finishes them, but we'll pack that in here and then we'll pack her an extra juice as well. So she has her take-home folder with any return slips. She has her lunchbox. Today is supposed to be close to 60, so she's not gonna need like these gloves or her snow pants, anything like that. We're really kind of coming to an end. And then I always make sure, I always put this in the fridge at night, <clears throat> excuse me, at night so it's nice and cold. But I always make sure she at least has half a water bottle to go to school with her. Sometimes filling it up just makes the backpack a little too heavy she doesn't drink at all. So that's one kid bed packed. Then I always need to go through um, Hunter's bag as well. Sorry, I'm just, I, uh, like I always take out my wallet and my keys for work so I can leave this with my mom. Um, so again, I'm not gonna go through everything that's in here. I'm just gonna make sure that it's restocked, refilled. Um, basically, I'm looking for how many diapers. She only has two left. So I'll grab a couple more of the diapers and put those in. I make sure that the wipes is still nice and full, which it is. <clears throat> I always make sure that he has like an extra pair of clothes, which these are still clean. They haven't been touched yet. These clothes can actually come up with me upstairs. So I'll put those aside. Um, I'm gonna make sure that she has three at least three bottles to use and then I'm gonna fill up the formula thing and then that should be it for that so all my kids are all packed up and ready at the library right now picking up some books all right so I've had the kids outside for a little while I've been just kind of cleaning up we went to the library I had to renew my card but we went to the library so we picked out a couple books so I mentioned that I wanted to bring her like once a week to pick out books. So I don't know, she picked out the dinosaur one. We got Doug Unplugs on the farm. We got David Gets in Trouble, which I remember from my childhood. So I picked that one out for her. Um, the Kissing Hand, which I also remember from my childhood. And I don't remember why or like what happens in this story but it's really, really familiar. So I, I picked this one out and then we have one last one that says, hello, say hello. And I think it's just like a picture book, but it has all different languages too. So we got that. So we'll have all those books for a week and then we'll um, return them when we go back. Ella's on the trampoline and Hunter's in the seat next to me, by the way, if you're wondering where the heck they are. Um, but briefly, I, because I just went through my car, I just realized that I had bags of clothing and shoes in my back seat, um, that my mom gave me that I haven't gone through yet. 
whatever I don't want, I'm going to donate along with the clothes that I went through a couple months back. Um, I still just have yet to find like a place that I want to donate them to. So I want to go through this, add it to my collection, only keep what I truly love. Hi, babe. Hi. <laughs> so she's on the trampoline. And here's Hunter. Look at my... Yeah, hang on, honey. Look at my pile that I have to burn. I've been waiting just to take a um, a have a fire this summer. <laughs> Shoes. <laughs> Hi, honey. Um, so let's start with the shoes. Pick out only what I really want to keep. Again, donate the rest. And then I have a bag of clothing too. Um, so the first pair of shoes I really love because they're definitely something I would wear. The pointed toe. This isn't too bad of a heel either. Um, so I could definitely. Uh, yeah, you can have the Oreos. I'll bring them to you. Put those there for now. She wants the, um, I packed her Oreos for a snack. Actually, which I think you guys saw this morning. And she wants to finish them. I told you she wouldn't finish them. Here, I'm going to toss them over the net. Okay, so that was the first pair. Which, again, I'm definitely going to keep. The good thing is my mom is, like, the same size in shoes. Next are these, like silver pair sorry the car is stopping um these are silver pair they remind me i have a pair very similar to this and they're some of my favorite shoes in the entire world so i know that i'll definitely wear them and i'm super excited to have a pair that isn't completely worn out like my other ones are so i'm definitely gonna keep those two my neighbor is saying hi Um, these red ones do need a little bit of TLC, but they are cute. I have a couple red heels, but none that I would really consider wearable. Like they all kind of hurt after a while. So honestly, I might just try these on because they look like they'd be much more comfortable than the ones that I have. So I'm going to try them on. If they're wearable, then I'll take these over my other ones. If they're not, then again, I'll just end up donating them. Um these are super cute my mom and i have such similar styles but i love these i love heels i'm such a sucker for heels because i feel like you can wear such a casual outfit and then throw on a pair of nice heels and like it'll really tie it together um so i definitely can see myself wanting to hang on to these as well put those down there um now these are super cute they are a little bit higher but the only thing is i've never been into open toe shoes um, probably just because I hate my feet <laughs> so I don't want to like display my my toes plus nude shoes I have so many of like so many of so I, I am going to pass these along um, oh there is another red pair in here oh, hello and they're even smaller but they're pointed and I actually think I like them even more than these ones so I think I'm going to pass off those red ones and I'm going to keep these instead. And then these pairs of shoes, same deal. They're really pretty, but I just don't do open toed shoes um, unless they're like sandals. And then these ones, um, honestly, I might keep. They're cute little tiny kitten heels, um, but they're brown. And I have one pair of brown kitten heel shoes but they're really ratty i've had them since high school so they need to go so maybe these can replace i'm not really looking to add to my collection i'm looking to replace my collection so i'm gonna keep those so those are five pairs so i didn't i i kept five out of the seven because i have another i'm sorry five out of the eight because i have another three over here too so those are the shoes you can throw that out sorry hunter was making a noise for a second now I'm going to go through, oh, if he allows me, I'm going to go through these clothes. Excuse my background, by the way. My stairs are so old. All the paint is like chipping away. What's up, babe? Hi, honey. She's eating her Oreos. Um, so let's fly through this, to be honest with you. Oh, this is really cute. I don't know it's cute but i don't see if i don't see myself wearing it a lot then i'm gonna pass it along sorry because pacifier fellow we have this red shirt 
which is cute. It's kind of like a, not a turtleneck, not like a baby turtleneck that has cold shoulders, but I don't know. I don't really see myself wearing it too much. Um, this little sweater actually is pretty cute. Um, I like casual sweaters like that to throw on with jeans, so I think I'll hang on to that. And sweaters are one of those things that I don't have a lot in. Um, this is cute with the beading across the top, but um, I've never, I don't know, I've never owned something like that, and I don't think I'll gravitate toward it too much. What's the matter, buddy? Okay, I might have to cut this haul a little short. I'm gonna go through the rest of this on my own. Um, I figured I'd go through a couple of the pieces with you guys, but I gotta get the kids inside and uh, get dinner ready. So I'll talk to you guys in a little while.